It's not out of the ordinary to spot a jellyfish on one of our Gulf beaches. They live all around the world, but not this many all at once. The recent jellyfish sightings at Clearwater Beach are definitely getting people's attention because the last thing anyone wants is to end a relaxing day with a painful sting. They're round, gelatinous, and in some cases, as big as dinner plates. This big around. It was really big. Clear jellyfish washing ashore at Clearwater Beach. Today is my first time ever seeing a jellyfish. Wednesday, the purple flags were flying at lifeguard stations, a warning for dangerous marine life. The city of Clearwater says they've seen an increase in the number of jellyfish stings in the last few days. You always have to be watching for them. We didn't spot many around Pier 60, but farther south, the smooth invertebrates were garnering plenty of attention from curious beach visitors. Oh, uh, they're not what I expected. It's pretty cool, though. Clearwater Marine Aquarium tells us this is typically the time of year when jellyfish spawn, which would cause a large group of these transparent creatures to gather. But you don't have to be an expert to know you don't want a close encounter with those tentacles or the tiny stinging cells they deliver. I've been stung before. It's not exactly the most pleasant thing. Jellies are about 95% water, so while they may seem pretty tame lying flat on the sand, the Florida Department of Health warns even dead jellyfish can sting. And it's a sure sign there are more floating blobs nearby. We always pay attention where we walk, and we don't want to have to walk on one of them. And if you do get stung by a jellyfish, the city of Clearwater advises you to find the closest lifeguard station so they can help take care of the sting and make sure you're okay. Reporting in Clearwater Beach, Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.